What is up, everybody? My name is Jay, and for all you guys who are tuned in, finally, 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 it's time to do another video review. Whew. Okay, so, uh, where do we get started? Um, it's been a good couple of months since the last one, and I know I said that I'll be doing this on a more regular basis, but, uh, yeah, I don't know what to say, man. Um, uh, it's just, it's, it's been a struggle, uh, for the lack of a better term. Uh, the funny thing is, I've actually been shooting videos left and right these past couple of months, and there are literally hundreds of videos in my hard drive right now, uh, but I haven't really uploaded any of them, uh, mostly because of the fact that I wasn't, uh, overly satisfied, uh, with how they came out. Um, and it's not even about being too critical about myself, but it's just, uh, it's just that upon playback, upon watching it back again and reviewing the review, uh, it just didn't quite feel right. Um, I don't know how to quite explain it, but it just didn't quite seem to have the heart of it all. And, you know, um, basically what I did was I just pretty much stopped what I was doing and just took a quick pause um, and, you know, just really went back and dig deep uh, to the root of everything and to why I'm doing what I'm doing. And, you know, it's pretty much basically for the benefit of the consumer. Um, and what better way uh, to get a good and honest to goodness consumer point of view, if you might say, uh, on these products than actually purchasing them. Now, uh, just to clarify, I do get some products for free uh, for the purpose of reviewing them, but uh, I found that, you know, going this whole different route this time around and um, going through the process, uh, I found that, as I said, to give a better unbiased opinion on these products, uh, what better way to be honest about them than actually spending for them? And, you know, it did quite put a dent in the pocket, but no regrets, man. Um, it has been worth every single penny. And as I said, um, experiencing, experiencing them the way you would from the perspective of a consumer, um, whether or not uh, it's worth uh, you know, the good money you're spending on it, uh, that would mean a lot. And going through that whole thing really did uh, magnify the experience, if you may. All right, so uh, moving along, uh, on the chopping block for today, these guys didn't really send me anything. I'm just really stoked to do this review simply because of the fact that this brand really has meant a lot in my vaping experience in general. You know, uh, they really brought a whole new element to the game when they entered the vaping scene here in the Philippines. Um, I really had a hard time believing that they were ma locally manufactured at first, when I first tried out the bottle, uh, when I first tried a bottle uh, about a year back, perhaps. Um, if you guys are wondering what I'm talking about, I'm talking about Vaporetto. I don't know if you guys can see it that well, but yeah. Let me get newer bottle on this one. Take two, Vaporetto, okay. So, uh, Vaporetto, uh, the guys behind them, Oliver and Kicks, are really kick-ass guys. Um, you know, they really made an effort to pioneer the return of tobacco flavors. You know, uh, tobacco flavors were really taking quite a dip in the vaping market um, a good couple of years back. Um, and, uh, you know, it was usually all in the same, pretty much the same fruity or the menthol flavor circulating. And I had no qualms about it, you know. Uh, they definitely were uh, uh, enough to uh, get me off the cigarettes and to satisfy me. And uh, But, you know, basically, you tend to look for that special something when you're puffing on something, you know. Uh, cigarettes just had such a different appeal to them. And uh, having a good tobacco flavor on hand really meant a lot into that uh, run of not smoking cigarettes. Uh, I myself admit to relapsing a couple of times, but as I said, uh, Vaporetto really changed the game, really changed my whole vaping experience. And uh, the return of tobacco flavors is really something I have to thank them for. Uh, I myself being a tobacco uh, lover, a uh, tobacco flavor lover. Um, I really can't thank you guys enough for pioneering this tobacco revolution here in the Philippines. Um, all right, so uh, with Vaporetto as well, uh, what I would like to say beforehand, um, aside from just the flavor, uh, the thing that makes them special, that makes them stand out really, is 
the experience, uh, the experience in every bottle. You know, when you vape it, it's undoubtedly Vaporetto. Uh, I don't know how to quantify it. I don't know uh, if it could be put in tangible terms, but, uh, you know, there's just something different to it. There's just a different feel to it, if you may. Uh, and I don't know how they do it exactly, but uh, I'm not complaining, man. Just keep it coming and keep doing what you're doing. It is amazing in my book. And as I said, I'm absolutely stoked to do this review. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the ball rolling as to not waste any time. Uh, for today, I won't be doing the whole flavor line. Uh, instead, I'll only be doing a couple of flavors, um, which I consider to be the darker flavors of Vaporetto. Um, basically, I'm discussing the tobacco and the pastry-like flavors that they have in their arsenal. Um, I'll be doing a whole separate review on their fruity and uh, fun line, if you may, uh, in another video, um, just to ma not make this last 30 minutes or so. Okay, so uh, to get the ball rolling, uh, what we'll be doing for today is Ranchero. We have Salvaje. Uh, tarta de queso, uh, caballero, and last but not least, my all-time favorite, cuatro. There you go. Okay, so uh, let's get the ball rolling. Uh, let's go ahead and start off with the ranchero. Now, for the purpose of this review, uh, I will be using my FMCC mod, which is all copper. It does quite pack that punch. Uh, I have my castle atomizer with me, and of course, up on top, the icing on the cake, my ever-reliable Atma Shalaya drip tip, which has got my name on it. <laughs> Thank you, Doc. Um, Vaporetto, go ahead. Let's just make sure that everything's good and working here. Yeah, it's pretty much empty. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and start off with Ranchero. Oh, by the way, uh, just allow me to discuss the packaging really quick. I really love the whole theme to it. You know, the black and silver really makes it classy and pleasing to the eyes. And from afar, it does look like a little bottle of Jack, right? Uh, just pretty much a testament to the personality and the liver capacities of these guys. Uh, and on the back, by the way, you got this little vaping fact sheet, kind of like a nutritional fact sheet. Uh, pretty much where they put down uh, the amounts per serving. Uh, you also have the ratio, which is uh, pretty much 50-50 on everything. 50 meaning uh, propylene glycol and half of it being vegetable glycerine. Uh, the density of the certain bottle that you have is also indicated. So sticking to the whole Spanish, uh, Espanole uh, theme of things, uh, you can go ahead and read it. Uh, it's in seis, doce, uh, tres, or cero. Cero. You gotta have the roll to it, to ranchero. Okay, let's not make this any longer. I'm blabbering again. So go ahead and drip in a couple of drops of this one. And before we vape it, let's go ahead and take a good whiff of it as well. Hmm. So, uh, ranchero. Um, it's pretty much tobacco flavor uh, in essence, in pure essence. Uh, it's got very strong leafy tones to it. Um, and it just tastes uh, genuine, authentic, if you may. Uh, let's go ahead and... I don't know how they come up with the names, but for some reason it really does, you know... It really does smell like a ranchero. No, they didn't really sound right, but... You know, it's kind of aptly named for it, but yeah, you guys know what I mean. Uh, let's go ahead and take a vape out of this. It's taking way too long again. Okay. Ranchero. Whew. Yeah. The thing with Vaporetto, man, uh, they really, really, really pack a big punch. Uh, you know, every bottle has that uh, titillating nicotine rush down the back of your throat once you vape it. And I'm not complaining, I'm a big fan of throat hits. Six milligrams, uh, you can't get any more six milligrams than that, man. Uh, it's a nice full hit. The flavor, uh, just like the smell. 
um, tastes extremely like the tobacco leaf itself. As I said, it tastes like the essence of the tobacco leaf, and um, uh, it's a great way to kill off the cravings for uh, for tobacco. Um, Ranchero is a definite staple of mine, without a doubt. I've had it in my pocket uh, since day one, since I've got it. And as I said, it really got me to wean off the cigarettes. The whole experience to it, I can't stress it enough, but the whole experience to it is just different. Uh, it's different from different brands. Uh, it, just, it just has its own quality to it. That I, as I said, I just can't quite describe, but whether it's good or bad, it's definitely good, man. Damn, you know, whew, six milligrams. Uh, I'm usually used to doing the whole long vaping thing when it comes to reviews just to get a good amount of vapor on it. But I kind of keep on forgetting that I'm doing Vaporetto for today. So for the Vaporetto, it is strongly, strongly advised to go the whole mouth to lung process. Don't skip it. Don't rush it. You're going to regret it. <laughs> but, you know, if you can take it, then why not? But as for me... The whole mouth to lung process seems to work quite fine. And as I said, it really does feel like a cigarette or not, not doesn't exactly taste like a cigarette, but it really tricks your brain into thinking that you don't need one. That's the whole Vaporetto experience. That's what it's all about, I guess. Man, Ranchero, definite thumbs up in my book. Uh, if it's worth the buck, uh, definitely is. Oh, by the way, uh, Vaporetto is 350 pesos or roughly around $7 or something uh, for every 20 ml bottle. So for the price, uh, it doesn't quite justify the experience, really. Uh, you're getting a great buy out of every flavor. Ranchero, definitely top grade in my books. Uh, want to have in your arsenal most definitely. It's great on tanks as well, but I also do appreciate it on drippers. Take the last few whiffs of this one and uh, move on to the next flavor. And there it is. Bird Taste 101. Okay, uh, by the way, I also have stainless steel mesh built in this one, uh, just so I can switch through the flavors really quickly for this review. And at the same time, I'm also getting a very good feel to every flavor that I'm vaping. Uh, next up on the list, uh, we have Salvaje. Now, uh, to be honest with you guys, Salvaje wasn't really a favorite of mine on the onset. Um, it's, uh, how can I say, it's, it's, it's a, it's a peanut-based flavor, and the odor, I wouldn't even call it a rum, but the odor is really, really strong to it. Uh, I find that a lot of people get irritated by the smell when I vape um, on Salvaje, but honestly, once you get to appreciate uh, what it's about, you do get to love the flavor for what it is. Now, I'm not saying it's an all-day vape for me, but uh, it's definitely one I leave a stash of at home uh, for certain situations. It has a very strong, powerful taste to it, a strong, powerful, nutty taste to it, like dry roasted peanuts. Uh, but really, one way of looking at it uh, I found to be more enjoyable is to think of it as... I'm stripping a couple of drops just have to, con to condition your mind to it, uh, that it tastes something, somehow, somewhat like Nutella, simply put. Uh, you can look at it as dry roasted peanuts, but honestly, to me, it's more of a hazelnut flavor, a roasted hazelnut flavor and honestly it goes perfect with my coffee especially with black espressos you know this really does the trick for me and i do enjoy salvaje in the mornings but as i said i don't normally enjoy it throughout the day i don't normally bring it around with me and uh as i mentioned it does reek uh when it comes to vaping inside a room with a lot of different other people uh it's very noticeable when you're vaping it so as with Salvaje, it does have its pluses, uh, it will have its lovers, it definitely will have its haters. But you know, as for me, 
I wouldn't mind keeping a stash of it around uh, just to be sure. As I said, it goes perfect with my mornings. Um, and it's, you know, it's, it's, it's not a go-to juice, but it's a call when necessary juice. And there are some days when you just want to vape something powerful. Uh, but as, as, as I suggest, you know, vape this one alone, my friends, if you don't want to get the evil stares from all those other people. But definitely a good job. I get where this juice is trying to go. Um, it's for a very specified market, if I say. Uh, it was an acquired taste for me, really. But it has its good moments. <laughs> Love the burn on the stainless steel mesh. God dang it. Okay. Uh, moving along the chains, what I have next is Tarta de Queso. Got to practice on it. Roll of the R, the Vaporetto. Okay, uh, Tarta de Queso, Tarta de Queso. Um, upon first whiff, no doubt in your mind, it's cheesecake. Uh, if you can't uh, quite uh, interpret what it says, you know, Queso, definitely cheese. You do get the tarty scent to it, uh, the very pastry-like uh, aroma. And with this one, I rather, I, I really would like to call it aroma because it does smell really good. It is definitely for the pastry lovers, without a doubt. And um, in terms of cheesecake flavors, uh, I can't compare it to some of the other brands which are available on the market. I wouldn't want to mention it uh, for the sake of this review, uh, but, you know, um, there is something that separates Tarte de Queso somehow from the other cheesecake flavors which I've encountered. And let me just go ahead and get a taste of that, just be able to describe it better. A bit of salvaje, yeah, maybe. Another whiff now. There you go. Tarta de queso just seemed so familiar simply because it tastes exactly like a New York cheesecake for me. Uh, that's how it reminded me of. You know, New York cheesecakes are known to be uh, a bit creamier and a lot more uh, full flavored uh, than the ordinary cheesecake. So uh, when it comes to cheesecake, Tarta de Queso just absolutely lingers in your mouth. The flavor is uh, amazing, uh, a great flavor to it. And you know, as I said, the way it lingers in your mouth, it really feels like you did take a bite out of a good cheesecake. So great job on Tarta de Queso. Pastry lovers would celebrate the release of this one. Uh, oh, sorry, it has been released. Well, uh, we're probably celebrating already because of this release. Uh, so, you know, hats off to this one. Great pastry flavor. One I would definitely keep. Um, with pastry flavors, as I said, I, I don't usually uh, uh, vape them all day as well. Uh, but definitely, uh, I'd have this one around. It's worth the buck, uh, most definitely. Tarte de Queso is a great, great cheesecake flavor. Rambling, rambling, rambling. Okay, let me just go ahead and finish this one and move on to the next flavor. Whew. And you get the burn. Oh, man, that sucks. Okay, moving along. Second to the last flavor. Let's, keep, let's go ahead and try to keep this within the 20-minute range. Uh, Caballero. Now, Caballero is another tobacco offering, and honestly, um, well, I, when I was vaping it uh, side by side with the Ranchero, um, it sort of really blurred the lines between the two, and it couldn't quite taste the difference. But uh, one thing I did um, to get a better feel of it is to get my Caballero in 12 milligrams or 12. Uh, and really, uh, after getting in 12, um, Sorry to say for all you ranchero lovers, but I really found it more enjoyable than ranchero. Uh, it does have a very different quality to it. Um, if you ask me, ranchero is more of the authentic, genuine tobacco, leafy-like flavor, while caballero has more of like uh, the burning paper undertone somehow. Uh, I'm not sure how to describe it, but uh, it tastes more like a cigarette to me. Um, if I'm not uh, if it can't put any other terms to it, it does have a more cigarette-like feel to it compared to Ranchero. So let's go ahead and give this one a vape. And remind myself that this is in 12 milligrams. Hmm. Oh. 
12 milligrams, man, feels like the devil has literally put his hand down my throat and snatched the bottoms of it. Yeah, 12 milligrams is the spot. Uh, it's, it's, it's where I want to be when I want to wean off the cigarettes, and it really gives me that good nicotine buzz as well. Yeah, right down their throat. Um, I love it in 12 milligrams, so don't, don't misinterpret my looking like this for being absolute pain. Uh, but, you know, I, I just love that good hit down the back of my throat. Ah. Twelve milligrams, huh? No better way to enjoy it, in my opinion. Um, as I said, when Caballero, uh, when I was vaping Caballero on six milligrams, it, it wasn't really quite the same experience as it is with 12. Uh, on 12, um, it really got me off the cigarettes. And it really, it's really getting my head in quite a buzz right now. Whew. Uh, <laughs> yeah, made this review a lot better. I should have started off with this one. Uh, anyway, um, 12 milligrams is absolutely, uh, absolutely a killer. Uh, you won't even think about cigarettes. It completely fools your mind that you're having six cigarettes at the same time and you won't ask for more. Uh, the thing of the, the thing again I love about 12 milligrams is I don't go through the bottle as quickly as I do with the other six milligram variants. Uh, so as with Caballero, this is a definite mainstay in my pocket. Uh, worth the cash, most definitely. Um, next, moving along, I'm getting the little nicotine patches of sweat on my forehead. So let's get this over with. Uh, last flavor I have on the list for today is Cuatro. And as I mentioned earlier, this is my all-time favorite from Vaporetto. Um, Cuatro is their play on RY4. Um, for most of you guys that are familiar with RY4, it's basically a blend of four different flavors, but mostly consisting of um, uh, tobacco, caramel, vanilla, and the fourth element is usually uh, a riddle for most. Uh, it's usually what e-juice makers play around with. Uh, as for Vaporetto, I found that uh, they actually mixed in a very different quality to this RY4 blend. You know, uh, the caramel is somehow there um, in a different form, uh, in the form of Belgian cocoa. Uh, the tobacco is definitely there. You get that dry, woody, earthy tone to it. Um, and uh, as for the fourth element, they decided to add coffee. Coffee. What an ingenious ingenious idea uh coffee man uh that really did the trick for me you know when i tasted this flavor um upon first vape it was definite love already uh and i'm excited to vape this after caballero uh, i'm still getting hints of caballero but cuatro is a very strong flavor um excuse me uh it's quite dry uh down the back of your throat uh, throat hit is magnified in Quattro for some reason. Uh, even on six milligrams, it feels a bit higher. Now, I know that concentrates play uh, quite a part in the throat hit. And as with Quattro, I found that the, the tobacco, the woody tobacco, and it really dried up my throat a lot. And again, it does feel like a cigarette. It does have a very cigarette-like feel to it, but with a different undertone towards the end to make it all the way better. Uh, it feels like I'm vaping while having my cup of coffee. A uh, cup of coffee which was brewed to perfection with, you know, with the dark Belgian cocoa undertones to it. Um, there's this place um, here in Paranaque uh, called Magnum Opus, which, uh, which blends Belgian cocoa with coffee. And this is exactly what it reminded me of. The finest coffee with the finest tobacco. So let's go ahead and give this one a vape. That's just pure heaven, man. Pure, pure bliss. Uh, Quattro really hits the spot for me. I don't know if it uh, if it would have the same impact on some people, but for coffee lovers uh, and having your tobacco blended in it as well, uh, this is the juice for you. Uh, I can't say much about the flavor. Um, it's amazing. It's amazing. Um, as it's worth the buy, it's been worth it. Much, much worth it. I've had stocks of this one constantly. I think I've gone through at least 20 bottles of Quattro uh, in the few months that it has existed. So uh, if you're a coffee lover, go ahead and get one. It's perfect for it. Uh, it would really get you off the cigarettes as well. Okay, so... 
finally, I think it's a wrap. Uh, getting through all of these, um, as I said, with Vaporetto, it's not really much of the flavor. Uh, even the guys themselves would tell you that they're not selling the flavor, they're selling the experience. You know, uh, flavor is just about blending the right concentrates together, but to get the whole Vaporetto experience, the whole Lasang Pengepa, you just really have to experience it for yourself, man. Go ahead and grab a bottle. It's worth it. It will make your vaping life a whole, whole lot better. Believe me. Okay. So that about wraps it up. Uh, my name is Jay. I'll be shooting videos the rest of the day. Um, I have Overdose lined up. I have Japa Juice lined up. I have Juju Vapes lined up and a couple of other things. Um, so I'll be doing this the whole day just to get the momentum on. So go ahead and stay tuned for the others. Uh, I'll be starting off with this one, but hopefully, hopefully I get to do a lot more of these videos because this is really what gets me going. Uh, the nicotine is really pumping my heart, so I'll end this right now. My name is Jay again. Thank you for watching. Have a good night, uh, have a good morning, or have a good day in general. See you guys next time.